Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is your weekend or next 24 hours reading for you Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you're finding safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today, it is for the Scorpio Nation. Let us see what's coming towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for you, Scorpio, okay? Before I start, Scorpio, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, I invite you to also be part of our mailing list or newsletter. To do that, the link is down in the description box below. This is for you, Scorpio. Let us see what is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know. This is for the Scorpio energy. Okay, let's start your reading, guys. You have the um you have the Aries card in reverse and you've got the judgment card in reverse. Okay. Um there's something that you are not ready to let go. Okay. It could be a relationship to someone who is a bit older than you, or it's a relationship towards a boss. Um I really feel like your energy with the Aries card in reverse or the Emperor card in reverse, the Judgment card in reverse, like you find it too soon. You find giving it up is too soon, okay? Or you feel like there's more to come, so you're not closing your door towards this person or situation, okay? Yeah, Six of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. You honestly believe that this person will still come back? Or this opportunity will return. You have within you that little voice of intuition telling you it's it's not over. It's really, really, you know, six of swords in reverse. I think you also want them to return. But the reason why you're wanting them to return or to come back or to connect with you, it could be money, it could be career, it could also be love. You feel okay, that there is a passion, you know, like you feel intuitively like... You, you feel intuitively that it's not yet over. You know, Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Like, you, you, you strongly feel this is not over. It's too soon to give up or it's like inconclusive. So I feel your energy more on relax, you know. Relax, don't do it. What's that song? You know, you're, you're, you're simply relaxed and that you're, wait, you're waiting for your Knight of Pentacles to come along. Okay, so you're not very dramatic or it's not very emotional. I just really, I'm just really feeling a good, like a justified result for you. Um, Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Now, the person, the situation that is connected to your energy, um, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, they do would like to, you know, Seven of Pentacles, they would like to invest with you. You know, like Seven of Pentacles, this is a gardener, you know. And this this is your person looking into you as a good investment. But like any other investor, they kind of need to look at the pentacles in here and analyze, you know, is it a good investment? Will I, will I continue? Like there's a feeling of is it to continue or to not continue? There is doubt coming from your person seven of pentacles four of swords you know like i'm also hearing the word they've come a long way you and this person have come a long way you know so there is hesitation from them they wanted to invest but there's hesitation okay let's clarify the seven of pentacles in here okay okay this one Ah, I see. The reason why this person is possibly they could not fully invest to you or they could not take care of you or they could not be with you is because there is a problem. Ten of Swords. You know, there's there's an ending of a cycle. The, you and this person will enter a new cycle. I don't think you are the problem. It's external of both of you. This Ten of Swords... 
maybe you're part of that but it's it's bigger than what you think okay let's look at the four of swords in here like this person that you're dealing with or the situation that you're dealing with they are also considering that you know how you guys you survive a lot of storm together okay you survive a lot of storm together so they're considering that not just you know they look at you like okay happy times with scorpio and also you have survived a full season from them so good and bad it's still an investment that they're both considering like they're they're looking into some of the not so good things that you shared and you guys overcome it together they're considering that as a good investment you know let's look at the four of swords in here in reverse ace of wands okay so ace of wands yeah they have hesitation i mean i feel like this person I'm hearing the word push you away or I feel like this person is not putting so much passion and effort towards you. And okay. Yeah. Let's do a you versus them kind of reading. Okay. One card for Scorpio. One card for Scorpio's person for external situation. Queen of Wands. Yeah. I feel like you won't force this person like you're kind of relaxed. Like if they don't, if this person doesn't want to call you, so be it. You're you're not going to. You're not going to force, or. You're not even to do. You're not gonna force them. You're not even going to. Overdo it, you know. Queen of Wands, like okay, if you want some distance or space, yeah. You know, you have every right to do it. Like, you respect, like, whatever they chose to do, you're respecting that. You know? Like, you're open-minded. You know, Queen of Wands. Okay. Let's get a jumper. Okay, I'm seeing the Two of Cups in reverse, but let's get a jumper. knight of wands yeah i feel like this person is really in um deep thinking what is the connecting energy between the two of you okay two of swords wheel of fortune like moving on you know the connecting energy between the two of you like this is a queen of wands you're not also being friendly with them and they're also not coming forwards to you, coming forward to you. It seems to be it's like a stalemate. Like the person that we're dealing with, yeah, they want to invest. And you are also waiting for them. But if nobody moves, then it is like a stalemate. Now, two of swords, the will of fortune, you guys will... I'm really picking up like you will move on with your lives. Like, you know, like you go on with whatever you need to do, Scorpio. They will also move on. Okay, I'll just get another one and let's move on to the next reading. Wow, look at that. It's a lot. Okay, when I was asking for an ant, like a proper answer, I don't get one. So here you go. So six of pentacles, yeah. So I feel like you and your person, it's kind of, it's, it's more of let's take a break stalemate let's take a break so for some of you yeah let's take a break there is a dealing with law there's a dealing with money balance both of you will definitely look into recalibrating because you've got the devil card in here scorpio so there's definitely uh okay let's take a break let's take a break and then yeah five of pentacles is here Oof. And then nine of cups and then seven of cups so from nine of cups i really feel like you guys will take a break you guys will have an individual 
you know, agenda, individual thing to do. And then at some point you're going to miss each other. And seven of cups, I'm confused. I thought I was over you. This is unfinished business. This is unfinished business. I feel like it's already happening now. Um, what's coming towards you, Scorpio, is that High Priestess Six of Wands. I feel like you're moving, Scorpio. I feel like you are moving, like High Priestess Six of Wands. The High Priestess in reverse, Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands. I feel like a very stubborn energy in here, Scorpio, where I'm moving on like you don't want to deal with something in here. I honestly feel like you don't want to deal with this person or situation because if you deal with it, there's no outcome or reply or respond or something to do. I don't want to deal with that. Six of Wands, I'm going to party. <laughs> Six of Wands, I'm going to like, you don't want to deal with someone like you know, I want to relax. I want to keep myself moving, you know, catch up with friends, live life, you know. You're not even listening to your intuition. There are some reflection that you need to do. But you're kind of stubborn to, hey, universe, you know, I know I need to do some deep reflection. Uh, but I don't feel like doing it right now. I just really want to connect to the world. And you want to do, like, you don't want to deal with the feelings connected to this person or situation because if you deal with that you might not be able to enjoy a vacation you know like i mean it's not bad it's neat it's not really bad you you can really choose whenever you want to you know to to deal with some heavy stuff in here you are aware that there's some heavy or deep soul you know, thing that you need to do, but you're not dealing with that because you're going into something, six of wands. I feel like you just really want to have fun. You're just going to close this off, like set aside this drama and you're going to reflect with a more positive, like you want, like you want your spirit, Scorpio, to be strong, to be able to deal with this heartbreak or some soul connection, like deep soul connection with someone, with somebody, you know, like, for example, you had a breakup and, you know, you haven't really dealt with the feelings because you want to go for vacation and this and that. And then when you're stronger, when you are surrounded with those with those nice memories and experience, okay, you're, you're I mean, you're stronger because, you know, you, you just went for vacation, friends, family, food, nice experience, relax. Okay, I'm going to deal with my breakup. You know, you're, you're choosing when to deal with it, which is, you know, so yeah, I've, I've really, really picked that up with this very strong, very strong Scorpio. Now, the person that you're dealing with, pretty much like you, they don't want to deal with you. They're not over with you, but they don't want to deal with you. I think both of you guys. Even this one is like a stalemate. Like, I don't want to deal with you because if I will deal with you right now, it's emotional. We might really break up. It's 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 an energy reading where, you know, I'm not over with you. But I don't want to deal with you because if I deal with you right now, I'm emotional. We might break up. So I'd rather go in a vacation where I have where I've experienced a lot of, you know, great things, you know, good stuff, and then I'm in the right head space and then I'll meet you up, you know. So I really feel like it's a clever hack in terms of how you deal with each other. Yeah, I feel like it's reciprocal. Mm. And I'm hearing the word, you'll always be remembered. Okay, let's get, so one, two, how many cards is this two? Let's get two cards for your person's energy or situation connecting to you three of pentacles keeping themselves busy they've got the lover's card scorpio yeah yeah i think this person who is in love with you who is a soul soulmate soul type connection they want to take things really slow not over in love with you but not now it's, it's a feeling where I don't want to talk with this person right now because if we talk, we're just going to clash. And if we clash, we might break up or we might never talk again. So 
I'll just lay low, you know? That's the vibe. Let's see. One connecting energy. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Unload. It's more of unloading the frustration, but not unloading each other. Okay, two cards. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is as if someone is getting stronger to deal with something connected to you and them. Yeah, taking a break. So when you recuperate or regenerate, you know, you're more stronger to face the reality of what you need both of you to do. Yeah. There's part two. I feel like there's still part two of this. Okay, and then the last reading is Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the King of Wands. This is... This is a different person. This is definitely you. Okay. But this is different person. This is a different person. So, Eight of Swords. You're not... You're, you're not in a hurry to love or accept love. Like, you're emotionally guarded, Scorpio. Yeah. I mean, you're happy where you are right now. Not too flash happy. But not through dra dramatic. So you kind of, okay, you're kind of sitting in a, you know, a neutral, grounded vibe. Not so happy, not so lonely, not so happy, not so lonely, but grateful. Good one. Now, this is two, two different person. Let's look at the Queen of Pentacles. Two cards for the two. The the two queen two queen of pentacles two cards okay piece of swords this is two different person okay 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 mm -hmm. okay so the king of wands the emperor card and this one okay so the queen of pentacles she has a kid and this queen of pentacles she has a kid and ace of swords and the queen of pentacles is married to the king of wands and the king of wands is in reverse and empress card in reverse two of cups so this is a third party situation scorpio this is a third party situation this is you you no longer wanted to invest in here, okay? This is you. This is a third party. This is the wife. This is the husband. Or, I don't know, I feel like this is the wife. This is the husband, okay? So, why am I picking that up? Because you're connected if you are in third party. So, the wife, the wife, they have a kid or kids. And because of the kid or the kids, they want to reconcile. Now, the King of Wands, the King of Wands is in reverse. An Empress card in reverse. So, I honestly feel like they don't like this mutual connection, Two of Cups. This is like a range. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Like, this King of Wands, it, it this King of Wands, he is there for the Queen of Pentacles. Like, this Queen of Pentacles, she is there because of... um. What do you call that? Because of comfortability, because of um, practicality, pentacles, yeah. So he, she will always reconcile because of the kids and the, you know, the thingy, the, the setup. This king of wands, this king of wands is no longer passionate with the queen of pentacles. You know, empress card in reverse. But I think the king of wands need to agree mutually that they need to be kind of together or they need to be connected because of the the kid let's get okay let's see yeah so this couple or husband and wife they are stuck because this one doesn't want to let go of this. And this one could not leave because of the child. 
So this one is staying out of love, out of passion, but mutually agreeing. Okay, I'll be here. Four of Cups World Card. So the foundation of the the foundation of their relationship, it's not love, it's torture. <laughs> okay. And I think this is where you are. You're you're waiting for them to break up. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Let's see the next two weeks. What's gonna happen with this two person? I feel like this is a very codependent relationship. I mean, the King of Wands is already here. Almost out. Like, I feel like the King of Wands, it's almost out. Okay. Mm. I mean, even, even the guy looks like it's crying. Look. Okay, here you go. Okay. So, let's see. Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. See, even the King of Pentacles is in reverse. Queen of Swords and Four of Wands. Like what I, you know, you Scorpio cannot be a part of this. If you are separated because of, you know, your, someone needs to be here in a codependent relationship, so be it. Because the foundation of where the foundation it's not love and it the foundation it's not love it's torture so page of pentacles i mean look at that delay i don't want to commit we're fighting eventually you know when the foundation is not strong and it's not based from love respect and honesty and if the foundation is um force then it will always collapse so and it's not your problem. I don't know. Maybe you think, Scorpio, that they're enjoying it. No. You have already caused a lot of... If you are sad because all of you paid the karma. This reading is like this Queen of Pentacles. She does not want to let go of the King of Wands. So, yep, she has the King of Wands. But she will, ever, she will forever bear seeing the king of wands physically there but emotionally connected with scorpio and king of wands probably being tortured and used and abused by the queen of pentacles because of the kid you know will pay the karma of being with someone that sh that he doesn't love and will always imagine you you know only time can tell but the foundation of this this functional family is not love it is torture yeah so there's no winner so i'm glad you're here <laughs> you're out of here <laughs> um yeah probably someone needs to know from the scorpio audience what's going on everyone is paying their own debt or karma so i'll see you guys and have a great day Bye-bye.